Welcome back to SWAT Cops and the Extreme Festival action here. We've seen the Formula Vs and we're now moving on to the two-wheeled superbikes, the ones that actually run on two wheels, as opposed to what we saw earlier on in the single-seaters. Big thanks to Bridgestone for the Bridgestone Challenge. Big field coming out and uh, some ladies and gents involved in this one. Milwaukee Racing will be out there offshore and so will the four-ways flyers. And it's great to see Johan Nokia now getting to grips with that big ZX-10 in the four-ways motorcycles team. He's going to be pushed hard though. There are a couple of riders in this category that can certainly run at the front end of the field. As the lights are about to go out, it's a fantastic start coming from the middle of the pack. And it looks like a couple of guys on some bucking Broncos at the back. Heading into turn one around the outside. Oh, it's very close. Nokia got uh, a little bit left behind there. You can see he fits into about seventh or eighth place as they come under braking. But at the front end, 247, Conrad Clark going well. Kun Erasmus with another super start there and leading master. Looking a little bit further down the field. Good start there from Ian Thomas. Anya Sudan, Carlos Tavares. And our second of the lady riders, that's Mahope. So we've got two lady riders up in the top 15 already. So watch out for those ladies coming steaming through the field. But it's all about the big Kawasaki ZX-10 out front at the moment as they come through the flat out turn four at, for the first time in this race towards the top of the hill. And then you're going to see the bikes just fan out, finding position to make a move at the top of the hill on turn five. You can see the bikes wherever they go, just trying to find a line on the inside, on the outside. There's the Milwaukee lady, Anya Sudan. She's already up now into 13th place. So watch out for that little red R6. Now I see Jens Fent on the west side motorcycles, Honda. All oh. right, it down. That's uh, Carl Rupersberg. He's crashed out. Looks like he might have done some damage there as well. But fortunately, the red flag comes out, gives our uh, SWAT Cops medical team a chance to get to him and get him sorted out. Restart down towards turn number one. Nice start on the inside coming out of Kuni Rasmus. Round the outside, Conrad Clark this time has been vetted into turn one. Clark hanging on, trying to get through to turn two. Can he outgun everybody on the brakes? Yes, he can. But in second place, a super start there from Gürtenbach. And you can see already Nokia, much better start from him this time. Up into about fourth or fifth. Also, Jared Letcher, also a much better start there, running in fifth place. Carl Tavares, Henny Swanepoel, Peter Pot Sr., Edwin Smith, Ian Thomas, and Anya Sudan rounding out your top 13 there for now. And here we go, on the brakes for turn four. Once again, you can see them steaming through there now. They're going to come up to the top of the hill, and it's turn five. That's where the incident happened, so I don't think there's any oil or anything down on the circuit, but they're going to just have to be very careful there. And careful they are not. You can see them already flying through turn number five. That is the beauty here of the Bridgestone uh, Challenge. They really just do give it all out on circuit on those very grippy Bridgestone tires. A couple of eyes at the front end, though, in uh, danger of possibly moving to sub 10s. On the inside. It's oh. a big move there from the 7 4 bike. But, oh, it's very close. Very, very close. Nokia squeeze him out. Oh, oh with a touch. <laughs> Man, running onto the dirt. Can you believe that? Absolutely amazing stuff. But Nokia's not holding anything back. He wants to get to the front end, he wants his victory. He had the fastest bike yesterday, as I said, and as I was about to say, there are a couple of these riders that have to be concerned. Carl Tavares is one of them, so is Nokia, running in the sub-10 category now. 109's coming out of those bikes, so potentially going to be moving into the sub-10 class on the next outing. 22 bikes just jostling for positions out on circuit, even using the dirt there, coming onto the front straight. That's how intense it is on track at the moment. There's big battles all the way down the field here. The second of our lady riders, Mohope, she's rounding out your top 15 with Chris Crenson right on her tail. So battles all the way down the field for that top 15. Remember, you only score down to 15th place for that final point. So everyone wants to get into those points. This little Todd Puckett there on the Triumph as well. Twisted throttle, Dion de Beer. You can see he's pushing hard in the No Rules Racing team. That's number 18. Also in a little bit of a fight there, Zadie Williams and Donovan Simpson. And they're fighting hard for the back end of the field. Even though there aren't any uh, prizes for the back, you're still going to have exceptional racing right through this pack. This is where all the prizes are. The nice, big, shiny trophies that you get at the end of the day is here in the top three. At the moment, it's still that man, Conrad Clark. Look at Carlos Tavares, though. He's getting very racy now at the top of the hill. Trying to go around the outside there of Nokia. Not able to make it sick. Look how close Nokia is getting to the real rear tailpipes there of Conrad Clark. He's going to get the drive now coming down into the final turn. You've got to be a very brave man to do it on the brakes there. No, just holding firm for now. We're coming into the final stages now of this race. So where can these riders make make the move. Going into turn two is a possibility, but uh, Carlos Tavares looking very racy now. He's trying to try and get the drive and line up on the inside. Is he? Look at the green wheels, Kawasaki. He's lining something up here, going into turn two for sure. Has a big look. Goes oh. on the inside, runs oh. wide. Clock has to sit up. Up the inside, Nokia is going to squeeze through. Yes, he is. What a move. Oh, capitalizing on the mistake between the two riders behind him. And now leading things out as they come out of turn three, heading up to four. Conrad Clark keeping him at bay for now. Tavares applying massive pressure. And looking for a way through as they head towards turn four. 
Here we go into turn four. Oh, look at how Nokia is just getting away now. Since he hit the front, he's trying to... Oh, Tavares is down. Tavares crashes out, trying to move on the inside of Conrad Clark. And that's a big, big pity for him. They definitely touch going through turn four there. Conrad Clark and Carlos Tavares definitely touch wheels there. And unfortunately, Tavares has crashed out of this. A very fast place to crash his turn number four. But Johan Nokia out front is coming through the left hander now for the final time. Coming down to the chequered flag. Conrad Clark unfortunately got no answer after tangling there with Carlos Tavares. But it will be Johan Nokia, the four ways flyer, who will pick up the win and the chequered flag here. Great result there for the man from the Kawasaki. In second place, it is all about Conrad Clark. Nicholas Gertenbach there in third place. A great ride. Kuni Rasmus, Jared Letcher, Nasif Wadwala rounding out your top six. Let's go catch up then with our second place man, Conrad Clark. Pulled, the, pulled off very well and then managed to pull a, a decent sized gap on the guys and then slowly but surely the, the likes of Carlos and Johan and them start creeping in. Um, managed to keep a good pace and yeah, last lap Carlos came on the inside of me, put us both wide. Johan took the opportunity and took the race win, but I'm happy with us for the second. Join us after the break for some more race action from the Extreme Festival here at Swatkops.